So you heard? We're opening up America again. President Trump gave states guidelines to start easing lockdown restrictions. And the medical experts are on board. It's a three-phase process that starts once a region sees a downward trend in COVID-19 cases for two weeks. Phase one, still got to avoid groups of more than 10. Restaurants, gyms, and places of worship can open with social distancing guidelines. And you can finally have that elective surgery. Butt implants, here I come. But that's a good thing. And, of course, those at risk need to stay home. Also good. Phase two, avoid groups of 50 or more. Schools can reopen. Bars can reopen with diminished occupancy. Sounds like me. And non-essential travel can resume. Phase three, for states with no signs of a coronavirus rebound, workplaces can resume with unrestricted staffing. And visits to hospitals and senior living facilities can resume. So of these fairly specific guidelines, what did Nancy Pelosi call them? Vague and inconsistent. But how dialed in is she, really? Let's check in with the butt kisser to the stars, James Corden. What are you going to share with us from your home? Chocolate. Really? Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate candy. Oh, wow. And this is, this is something you can get through the mail. OK. Run out. Now show Show me. You? Yeah, absolutely. This is the episode of Cribs I never knew I needed. Oh, my. Wow. Other people in our family go for some other flavors, but chocolate, and then we have some other chocolate here. Ah, <laughs> oh, Nan Nan, you have offered no practical advice, preferring to snipe, and now you're showing off your double-wide freezer stocked with enough ice cream to feed Guam. I have a rule. The more removed you are from the consequences of a calamity, the less you matter in discussing that cl cl calamity. So sit this one out, Nancy, and keep stuffing your frozen face with frozen yogurt. Meanwhile, of the guidelines, Joe Biden said this. Well, I, I wouldn't call it a plan. I, I think what he's done, he's kind of punted. Uh, he's decided that he's not, he doesn't have the right to make the call for the country. And he talks about phases that, in a generic sense, seem to me, from all I've learned and all I've listened in my morning briefs from the docs I talk to, uh, is, not, uh, is, is not irrational. But it, it, it doesn't give you any hard guidelines. What the hell is he talking about? First, if Trump decided to call the shots, Joe would have called him a dictator, a tyrant. So now Trump offers a framework that lets governors make the call, and now he's punting? I'd say Joe is playing politics, but in his head, he's probably playing Yahtzee. Maybe he should join Nancy's ice cream in the freezer. God knows there's room. But as this surreal moment in time continues, so do you, for now. There are stresses, and they're starting to show. I'm not going to lie. It's been a strain on relationships. This was my wife and I before the quarantine. Mm. And this is us now. Yep, it's getting to everyone and creating a world of disturbing mysteries. Like who is the person in Tannytown, Maryland, getting his mail in his underwear? In this newfound era of stay home, save lives, comes this Facebook post from Tawnytown Police which reads, please remember to put pants on before leaving the house to check your mailbox. Yeah, actually, I know a friend that used to do that, and he lives in Tawnytown. <laughs> it's really funny to me. It's funny how men can go out in their underwear and just have a good old day. It's really nice. Hey, you got to feel the breeze somehow, you know? <laughs> it's good advice to put pants on before leaving the house, and not just in shutdowns. But I got to wonder, who could they be referring to? Hmm. Look, you know, I get it. No job, no schedule, TV on all day. It's like being Dana's dog. In Michigan, you saw a massive protest against a governor who said you couldn't buy gardening seeds. Gardening seeds. If that's not micro, micromanaging, what is? Seeds. Seems like an essential thing in a pandemic, no? Unlike clueless politicians. So naturally, people are like, what the hell? See, we will trust our leaders until they push their luck and then we get pissed. Seeds or no seeds. So right now we're looking at a pretty calm, cool, and collected America. But it could be like those fake sets on old TV westerns. And what you find behind the calm facade is unrest without pants. I have a theory that we're all telepathic. 
that you and I at times know exactly what both of us are thinking because we are thinking the same thing. You know what I mean, right? See, you do. Let's say you and I are in a bar and some dude shows up with a snake in a tutu. You and I don't need to say a thing. We know without making eye contact, this place is great. This telepathy, telepathy, also happens on Oscar night. Into the third hour of this oozing wound of entertainment, the entire country knows it's time to turn it off. And we do, without even talking to each other. We are like a boy band, in sync. We are a connected brain, not separate identities, races, or genders. Our humanity unites us and tells us when we are ready. And now, it feels like we are ready. Maybe to go back to work in phases. I think it's week five and we're patient, we're patriotic. But you know and I know that there's going to be a limit. We're adults. We did the heroic thing. But now we have to do the realistic thing, which is weighing the risks of future behavior. We can't be shut down forever. We sacrificed a lot to protect the vulnerable, and we still will do that. But as the unemployment rate inches closer to horrifying, we got to ask, how much more can we take? Meanwhile, what's Adam Schiff doing? Remember the guy who was always trying to catch up with his eyeballs? He says his House Intelligence Committee is conducting real-time oversight of Trump's coronavirus response, but from home. So the guy who captured all the attention with no-win impeachment porn causing the media to miss this outbreak, is now trying to do it again? Man, you can imagine what he's really doing at home. And now, Adam Schiff's quarantine video diary. Remember, clean hands. Very important. Always remember, wear your masks. I myself like to go with the triple protection. Come and get me, Corona. I think it's time to flatten some curves of my own. Make it burn. Remember your social distancing. Keep six feet away at all times. Did you hear that, Wilson? Get away. Wilson. Wilson! Oh. oh, I miss him. The other news, Trump announced that we're pulling funding from the abysmal inept World Health Organization. And whose side did these sheep take? This is an attempt by the president to steer you away from his own actions. If you go through the scapegoats that he's blamed uh, so far for this coronavirus pandemic, the WHO, members of the news media, Democrats in Congress. What you're seeing is a president who deflects, demeans, and denounces others as opposed to taking responsibility. It's amazing how every day to the media is still the first day of Trump's presidency. They refuse to see that Trump's just initiating a process he's done a million times, forcing an entity to do a better job or else. Show the guy a tire and he's gonna kick it. Unlike the media, he understands incentives and persuasion. He's the adult in the room. The media are the children who see tough decisions as scary and mean. I don't think they're gonna get through this, but you will. The economy is gonna return. And you're going to exit this strange, surreal moment in time, smarter, wiser, stronger. We did the right thing. We sacrificed a lot. But maybe it's time for some of us to get back to work. If we don't, we're all screwed. It won't be the proverbial light switch. It's more like a fancy light dimmer. But you don't have to listen to me. It's OK, because I'm listening to you, and I hear what you're saying. It's almost like we're thinking the same thoughts.